In this video I want to take a look at using Canvas Studio to set up a, a video with the quizzes appearing during the video. I'm going to go down here in my course. Uh, your course may have other material in it, but this is just a sandbox course for me. I'll go down to Studio. And I do have some stuff already in studio. You can record, do your own recording directly from studio. My material is mostly material I've already produced in YouTube. And so I'm going to want to reach back and reuse that material at this point. But you can also upload files from your computer that you have. Uh, so you have the option to record. You have the option to upload your own files. Um, You'll have to check with your students um, how well they download. I've always liked YouTube because of uh, the dynamic changes YouTube does. It makes it easy for my students to watch YouTube. It's an embedded YouTube. It uses the YouTube app, so it works for most students. And that's where my material currently is. All I've done is pasted in the YouTube URL from my YouTube. This one is on foot types. You can see that here. It's from my ESS class walking for fitness, covering foot types. When I go to the three dot menu, I will see that my only option is to delete this. In order to add a quiz, I have to come up to this three line menu up next to Sandbox Demonstrator and go to my library. See, I'm down in the Sandbox Demonstrator. I have to actually come up to my library. Once I'm in my library, it looks the same, but when I click on the three dot menu, now I see a fuller menu. I can now create my quiz. I can also add annotations to my video if I wish. Uh, there are a lot of different options here. But today I'm just trying to show you how to lay a quiz on top of a video, a feature that uh, I believe will be useful to, to many. The Give the quiz a title. This is going to be a foot type quiz. Uh, the description, uh, quiz on foot type and associated shoe types. There are question markers that appear on the timeline for the students. Uh, those can, you can opt to hide them if you wish or show them if you wish. I'll go ahead and let it show in this case, but you'll see the marker in a moment. And uh, if you did make annotations, you can allow them to display or not. And then I just click on get started. And now, I'll, in my case, I already know my video. I know that I want this uh, to be out at about the 215 mark. I want to ask a particular question. So I'm going to go to the place I want to ask the question at, right out there at 215. And this plus will let me add a question. If I'm playing the video, I do have to pause the video and come down to get the plus sign. The plus will only appear when the video is paused. I'll click on plus and it lets me add one of three different question types multiple choice true false or multiple answer I'm gonna go ahead and create a multiple choice question you can have more than one question at a particular time marker the upper limit is something like 50 questions that would probably be a bit extreme in my opinion and I would probably be asking only one or at most two questions at a particular time marker I want to get them back into the video, but uh, what is the appropriate shoe type for a high arch? Uh, and the answers uh, would be potentially a cushioned shoe, a neutral shoe, and one more answer. I'm going to add an answer. I'm going to add in a stability or motion control shoe. Now I mark the right answer by clicking on the dot over on the left side here. In this case a cushion shoe is the correct answer. Down below I can set options like varying the points by answer and shuffle choices. Question feedback is a nice feature where I can tell it what they want to be said for a correct answer and for an incorrect answer. For an incorrect answer I want to say a high arch requires a 
Russian shoe. So once I've got my questions set up, I can simply say save, it's sitting at the 215 mark. If I need to edit it, I can. I can go to another marker, add another question, and so forth. So I can ask questions that will pop up during a video. The video will pause and the question will be asked. When I set up my video with the questions I want, I simply click on done up here. That's all I need to do at this point to set that up in studio. I now need to get that to a student in the form of an assignment. Uh, and so I'm going to go make an assignment that uses that. I'm going to come over here to assignments and the plus on the right side. I know this is kind of subtle, but there's this little plus over here on the right. Just click on that. This is going to be an, assi a, sorry, uh, an assignment, a new, not a plus, my bad. The plus assignment at the top. <laughs> That's another way to do it, but it, I want the long form. That's the short form. That's a shortcut. Uh, for this one, I'm going to put in the foot type quiz. You can see I do this a lot. <laughs> uh, watch the video. Take the quiz. Be careful to scroll down in the quiz window. A little thing I have noticed as the quiz window is sometimes in some devices a little short and it scrolls mm, to see all the answers. You'll, you'll have to see how yours works. That's fine. I, if I've got different groups, I can assign it to its group. I haven't created any groups here, so I'll just leave it in assignments. Here's the part I have to set up. Submission type, external tool. Uh, it'll probably come up as online like this. Switch it over to external tool. Click on Find. Click on Canvas Studio. There's my two. There's a quiz. There's one here. I'm going to click on Select the Video. Now, if I standard embed it, it will just embed the video, and then I can have, say, some question in the description that says, please write a summary of this video, or whatever I want them to do. That's not what I want. I want to do the quiz. I want the foot type quiz to happen. So I'm going to embed that quiz in here. It does appear that it allows the possibility of creating multiple quizzes for a particular video. I'm not entirely sure why I would do that, but if you did, it looks like you can select which particular quiz for that particular video you wanted to use. But be that as it may, I'm going to embed that. And At this point, it looks like nothing happened. This always confused me when I was using GTI 1.3. What you do now is select. It set this up already. That's what's set up, a special URL. You can decide how many attempts you want them to take, if it's one or an, uh, unlimited, whatever you want them to do. You set the due date and when it's available from and to, just like a standard assignment. I'm going to save and publish it, but uh, if you don't publish it, the students won't see it. The next piece that I will want to do is get that into a module because that's what organizes our courses, our modules, our units, chapters, weeks. Here's module one. So I'm going to add that. And you can see it's under assignment. If I had been previously adding an external URL, I'll have to come up here and switch back to assignment because it's an assignment. Then I'll simply say add that item. And now it's added. The only problem I have is that it's... Uh, I didn't give it, I, well, I didn't give it any particular points, but the points right off of the quiz. I do have to publish the module. If I don't publish the module, the students won't see it. Let me see if I've done this correctly. Student view. Nice thing about Canvas are these student views. You can go in as a sandbox student and see what the student sees, and I can go take the quiz. I probably should have given the quiz some points there in that assignment. <laughs> But well, let's see what happens. Anyway, I can demonstrate demonstrate uh, the concept here. You probably won't be able to hear this. I'm in screen capture mode. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead to here and let it play. Uh, a little bit of, we'll have to let the... Uh, So I'm the student, I'm watching along here.
So that section over, boom, up comes the qu question. Note that you have to scroll to see all three. That's what I was trying to say up above to see all the answers. I'm not sure. Maybe I think it's this one. And then I continue on watching the video and the video continues to play. The quiz is not yet submitted. If they leave the page now, the quiz will not submit. Let's go all the way to the back here. Let's watch the last few seconds of... Oh. This is when they get to submit the quiz at the end. They can say, all right, submit. They can also view the results. They got zero out of one point. Notice I didn't actually assign it any points. I probably should have given it one point to match the quiz. But there you go. It's set the one point. And it does now say a high arch requires a cushion shoe. The feedback that I set up is shown to the student. Another nice feature of quizzes inside Canvas. If I, uh, as a student now, if I go look at my grades, I'm not doing too good in the class. I don't have any points. I have nothing out of nothing is nothing. Uh, let me leave the student view for a moment. You might be wondering, but uh, what about, let me go back to studio and let's have a look at what you can see from my test student. We have our foot type video here with the quiz in it. So let's go ahead and uh, view that guy. I'm going to come down here and just see what I've got under the insights. And uh, <laughs> the test student. This is a, these are other runs I've done this. I've done this uh, video before. <laughs> the test student. Uh, you might be wondering, but Leeling, you jumped through the. You didn't actually watch the video. You cheated. You jumped ahead. Okay. One, I could have hid the marker that shows where the quiz is, so they wouldn't know where the quiz is coming. Two, I can come back here and see they watched the very beginning. They skipped up to where the marker was at the 150 mark. They watched for a little while, took the quiz, and then jumped to the end. That's what these things are showing you. They're showing you that one didn't watch at all. That one didn't watch at all. That one, <laughs> no, those guys didn't watch anything. And I haven't watched my own video. But that's what that's showing me. It's showing me what the student actually watched. And that's another powerful capability of uh, Studio. You'll have to explore Studio on your own, but the quiz is a very powerful feature. I'm really excited about the ability to actually ask a quiz during a video because I do know that I've had low low participation in my videos, which I try to keep short. I try to keep them in that 6 to 12 minute area if I can. Uh, 18 is my upper limit I, uh, with a few exceptions in statistics. There's a couple that run a little longer. But I really try to keep them under the uh, TED Talk recommended 18. And I always bear in mind the six-minute recommendation from uh, those who deal in distance education. But this does give you a way to see some of these things and to see how things are going. There's the quiz, the quiz results, but that was a sandbox student, so there wouldn't be much of a report, uh, I don't think, because we did, did... Well, yeah, I guess there is. Attempt one. My <laughs> test student has a has some results and the results were nothing. So you can see the quiz results also. This video doesn't have captions because it's coming in from YouTube. Uh, captions is a feature for things that you upload. You'll have to explore that um, uh, and take a look at that. Whenever you are trying to explore something in the world of uh, uh, Canvas and you're not sure what to do, you can always go through to the uh, help area here and uh, Search the guides. Really good place to find answers to common questions. Anything you want to you to type in what you're looking for, there's already probably stuff out there. It's also the case that there's some good stuff out there on YouTube because so many people are using Canvas right now across, uh, across the globe, basically. There is really just a lot of good material out there. So that's a bit of an introduction to it. Core ideas are that you're going to have to start in studio, bring your material into studio, as I did. When you're here, you'll have to switch 
to my library it'll look almost the same but it gets you the extra menu you can then set up your quiz or edit your quiz and then go to once you've done that part in studio I'm over here in studio at the bottom then you go to assignments and set up from the blue button <laughs> my bad to the long form assignment setup I uh, probably should have given it some points but I'm not sure how that interacts yet and then the other key you're using an external tool here and doing find to get to Canvas Studio to pick the quiz that you want to give. Again, I think this is a really powerful tool and capability and one I hope to explore as I get time uh, over the next, uh, next few weeks. If I can get some time to play with that, I will because it does seem like it's a very powerful capability. Of course, if you're editing an old quiz like the one I just did, you can do that too. You can edit the assignment settings uh, and uh, now, the link is fine, don't mess with the URL link, but you can change dates, attempts, uh, that sort of thing. So that's a bit of an introduction to Studio and to Studio quizzes, setting them up and putting them in a course. Not real obvious, but there are some good links on how to do that. Thank you for watching, and as always, uh, do let me know how I can help.